So we're talking about the origin of light, and because light can have two characteristics, photon and wave, when you know where they both come from. So we discussed where photons come from, sort of the review here. As we discussed here, photons come from falling excited electrons. And the other way of sort of drawing that for the atomic view then is instead of drawing all those round atomic orbitals here, you can just draw two lines like this and maybe label it one and two. And one here would be the so-called ground state and two would be the excited state. Then if you want, you could draw like a little electron in here like this. Here's the electron in the ground state, nothing's happening. But then if you come in here and disturb it, then what will happen, of course, is almost like a chemical reaction. When the atom gets disturbed, then suddenly here's the one and here's the two again. Here's the one and here's the two again. Suddenly the electron's in this excited state, but it doesn't like to stay there. And so then what happens is the electron's going to fall. And when the electron falls like this, it's going to fall back down. Then out comes a photon. Okay, so that's where photons come from. So the next issue then is, okay, well, that's fine for photons. Where do light waves come from? Light waves. So how on earth from one of these atoms falling like this, one of these electrons falling like this here, where would the wave come from? Because remember, the wave has so much more structure. It goes up and down and up and down and up and down. It has the frequency, which is the up-down undulation of a little particle of the wave, a little part of the wave, and of course the wavelength there is the measure between peaks or valleys. Where does all that come from? Well, let me show you then. Here's where light waves come from. So what I have over here is a charge. Very important to have a charge. And what these things are all around the charge are so-called electric fields. Now we're just not going to worry about that in our class at all, but let me make sure you can at least get a, some notes on here. So what is important for what I'm about to show you is that the origin of a light wave is the charge. Then all these white lines that go on in all directions here, this is the so-called electric field. Now, you may, some of you may have heard of this, and if you take a uh, electrician magnetism course as part of your physics introductory series, you would have heard of electric fields, and you know that they're all around charges, but it's just not part of this class, but I just wanted you to know that's what we have on the screen and this charge is very very important so here we go let me show you where a light wave comes from so what I'm gonna do with my mouse cursor I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna grab this charge and I'm gonna jolt it like that like that see I just jolted it and you see how the electric field gets disturbed let me do that again it sort of disturbs see how the electric field starts to get disturbed isn't that, disturbed? Isn't that just a beautiful pattern you see well guess what that disturbance is the light wave so let me not do it myself. Let me turn this sinusoid on right here so it sort of keeps going. And so as you see, as that charge goes up and down and up and down, you can see the wave structure coming out here. Like see those crests and valleys and stuff over here? I can't really point it out very very easily with my mouse cursor, but I hope you can just see the crests and valleys. Those are the waves going out as the charge moves. So if I go back over here and we can capture that maybe in some notes here then, then what we get for the light wave is that when you have the charge, and I don't know how to draw it up and down, but I'll sort of draw these little marks here to indicate motion up and down like that, then what happens is those white electric fields, sort of these little waves start to form in those white electric fields like this. And these things that go on here, these are light waves. These are the light waves sort of going out you can sort of clearly see the wavelength lambda in there. And if you look at any one little particle like that, it is going up and down like that. That would be the frequency. So let me let you take a watch again here. So you see all the usual things in here, but these are where light waves come from. So just watch it. You can see the electric fields going up and down. And you can see the wavelengths. And just like with the sound generator, I can sort of play with the frequency here. I can make it go up and down a little bit lower and so you can see when it goes lower how large the wavelengths become that inverse relationship still holds in here i can make it go up and down bump up and down faster so the higher the frequency is the smaller wavelength that you see very bizarre interesting pattern there huh and so the moral is that light waves well they come from moving charges 
and moving doesn't quite do it justice technically just to be really correct it comes from accelerating charges but we won't make too big of a distinction about that in this class we just don't need it in astronomy but you've got to have moving accelerating charges for a light wave to happen and light and likewise here the light photons those come from falling electrons so see you have your origin of both these things all set up for you okay but never mind all that let's head back to the simulation here because there's really cool patterns you can make with it so this is pretty good here you can really crank up the frequency to something high like that and we can just get this most bizarre pattern almost looks like some sort of devilish looking horns or something coming out and so off it goes there and again the white things are all light waves coming out and let me go back to more sort of sane frequency for you there and i think if you get it going in a circle like that so it sort of looks like some sort of dance like you really get your hips going in this thing you can see all these really bizarre light waves coming out but rest assured all of these things have been done and this is all this is all sort of a real depiction of what happens you can make charges circulate and you will get these bizarre light wave patterns coming out uh no linears or this where it just sort of moves across like that uh, and we can put a little bump in there i guess what does a bump do oh that's just you do it once right just do a bump like that and you can see the light wave traveling out like that bump there's a light wave going out but this is definitely the best one so it definitely looks like some sort of fun dance you could do line dancing or something like that and we could definitely crank up the frequency here get it really shaken and get a lot of power going in there see what that does check it out isn't that cool so these are light waves for you here so that's the moral of the story then so now you've got your origin for both types of waves light waves come from moving or accelerating charges light photons come from falling electrons so you have both characteristics of waves you have the generating story behind both types of wave characteristics